welcome to Pinoy Adventure Recipe. We are now on the third part of our video series titled How to Skin Dive or Free Dive. Meron na tayong overview with regards to skin diving or free diving. So at least meron na kayong mga notes o guidelines na pwede sundan so madali na. With regards to equalization, MDR, breathing. So this time, dito tayo sa pagbaba sa ilalim. So, it will require proper mechanical form para makababa ka. We call this duck diving. So, the most common na ginagamit natin is duck diving or pike dive or jackknife. And, yung isa is yung tuck diving. Yung form na to will make you go down smooth and easy. So, pag tama kasi yung form na yan, mas madali yung pasok mo sa ilalim even though mayroong mga resistance yan syempre as you go down may pressure so less ang drag nito kaya mas makaka-penetrate ka nang mas madali so again sabi nila forms follows function so i-apply natin yon and second is yung tinatawag nilang mental anchoring ito yung psychological part where Isiset mo ang utak mo in a condition na relax ka para yung pulse rate mo hindi mag-react. Para yung, yung cold breath mo mas tumagal and at the same time, yung makontrol mo yung emotion mo as you go down. So, for first timer, ito ang naging struggle since syempre kung wala kang experience on the natural environment, minsan masisyak ka, lalo na if you're into the open, kasi everything is blue, so parang void siya, as you extend far away dun sa coast, so mapapansin mo nawawala minsan yung reference mo, yung seabed, medyo kakabahag ka, so to cut it short mental anchoring will help you stabilize yung emotions mo, para as you go down as you hold your breath, hindi mo naisipin yung mga storyline sa utak mo na baka makapusang ka ng hininga Ang mahalaga doon, makontrol mo siya and at the same time, you go in and out of the water safe. Okay? So, again, you know the drills. Join me as we explore the underwater world. Okay, back to the drawing board tayo. So, ang objective natin today is to go down, go down smooth and fluid. So, for us to do that, kailangan natin ng tamang mechanical form. So, to start with, from the surface, so, dapat naka, nakadapa tayo. Ayan. From the surface water. Siyempre, with your snorkel on or pwede kang nakatihaya. This time, bababa ka without the aid of any line buoy. Ayan. After getting air para meron kang baon pa baba, ang gagawin mo is to bend. So, with the aid of your, your head, so, yan ang mag-guide sa'yo yung ulo mo. So, yuyuko mo yung ulo mo para ma-achieve mo yung position na to. Then, from this position, lulubog ka na yan. Pag lubog mo, make sure na naka-straight yung legs mo. So, bababa ka na. Ayan. Because, syempre, may gravity pa rin yan. Ayan. So, make sure na isi-straight mo yung legs mo. Ang gusto natin ma-achieve dito, yung 90, 90 degrees position. So, kasi pag ganito yung position mo, 100%, dire-diretso ka pa baba. So, less ang drag. So, 
syempre, you are fighting against the underwater pressure. So, with this position, less ang drag mo. So, makakabulusok ka pa baba. Okay. So, yung head mo, pag in-overextend mo yan, niyuko mo ng husto hanggang dito, ang tendency, iikot ka in a circular motion. Pag in-overextend mo naman siya dito sa likod, ang tendency, papasok ka pa ganyan. So, kung gusto mo check yung bottom na pupuntahan mo, titingin ka lang, susulyap-sulyapan mo lang siya. Uh, once in a while, check, then balik sa original position, check, balik sa original position, until such time makababa ka. Dito sa target mo na area na kung saan gusto mong puntahan. Now, pag nakapasok ka na, when your whole body is submerged already in the water, ito na yung time to start feeling down. So, magpo-propel na yung paa mo to create um, an oscillation para makapag ma-push ka pa baba. So, dalawang approach ang pwede dyan. Pwede kang guma gumamit ng flutter kick or pwede kang mag-undulate. So, undulate, syempre parang dolphin movement. So, flutter kick, tuloy-tuloy yung flutter kick. Yung hands mo, syempre, functional yan sa equalization mo and at the same time, pwede rin siyang mag-push So, parang yung sa breaststroke, pinupush mo yung, yung tubig pa baba para yung direction ma-achieve mo ng pabuluso kang ganyan. Okay? So, continuous lang yan until such time na maabot mo yung target depth mo sa baba. Okay, so this time na abot mo na yung bottom. So, you roll up, ikot ka na. So, yung roll mo pwedeng to the chest area o patalikod. Depende kung nasa ang lalim ka. Now, going up, syempre, check for reference sa taas. Baka may obstruction. Then, extend your arms upward. Then, start kicking. Pwede kang gumamit ng flutter or undulation pa rin. Pero siyempre, make sure na hindi ka totally nakatingin sa taas. Kasi minsan, the more na tumitingin ka sa taas at nasa malalim ka, medyo magwagwari ka kasi matagal. Matagal yung biyahe. So, maintain mo lang. Tingin sa taas, balik sa original position yung ulo. Extend your arms upward para kung may obstruction, pwedeng ma-evade mo, ma mo. So, tuloy-tuloy lang yung feeling. Until such time na ma-reach mo yung surface, And doon ka lang mag-exhale. So, never exhale while going up. Before you set yourself out in the open para mag-swim, make sure na napolish mo yung mga basic skills mo like floating, training, tapos yung how you hold your breath, medyo na clock mo na yung sarili mo, how long can you hold your breath in the surface. Para at least, once na nag-execute ka na dun sa, sa open water, so meron ka ng foundation na kung saan dito ka kukuha ng confidence mo. Again, your confidence will make you kumaga, psychologically stable. Okay, siya yung pinaka-anchor mo doon. Meron ka ng skills na equal doon sa requirement ng natural environment.
before you go down, uh, practice meditation o exercise yung meditation para ma-relax yung isip mo and the same time yung muscle mo. Or prior dun sa dip mo, uh, execute ulit yung breathing, exercise, then rest, tsaka ka mag, ano, immerse. And listen to music na sa tingin nyo nag-create siya ng confidence nyo. Like yung mga music na orchestra, mga music na smooth tsaka relaxing. So, kasi mga gamit siya. Once you go down, pwede mo siyang i-play sa utak mo. Para wala kang iisipin iba kundi yung music na yun pinapakinggan mo. It happens to me when I go diving. So, may specific music akong pinapakinggan na the moment na lumubog ako, nag-play na yun sa utak ko. So, consciously, nag-play siya and at the same time, naririnig ko siya. Kaya, kung ano man yung worries na meron ka, magkikik in siya, nawawala na. Mas relax ka, walang pulse rate na mag-increase. So, nakukonserve mo yung oxygen mo. And at the same time, mga muscle mo relax. Thank <laughs> you.